So just want to give a update on where things are at with the workshop. I can officially say we have broken ground on rebuilding it. We started putting in some of the footings for the addition that we put onto it. So we kind of weighed a lot of different options of what to do with it. Nothing's really happening with insurance right now. So we kind of stuck with a limited amount of funds. With that, kind of the best plan was to kind of salvage as much of the garage we can. The roof is pretty much toast, but the walls are actually pretty, pretty much intact. And then we're gonna extend it to the back. Right now it has this really bad metal lean-to on it, but the plan is to basically extend the garage back over that way so we can have some additional space. And we can also put a little bit larger roof in it with some storage capacity so we can actually make some improvements after all of this. The reason we're going with this plan is that it would hopefully allow us to build the roof before winter. But as you can tell, winter has come. And the entire process of getting the permits together and finalizing things with insurance has gone really, really slow. Um, so it's kind of made us lose our window before winter sets in. So now we're kind of making do to uh, keep things going through the winter. The main plan is to try and board up the garage, reinforce the roof so it doesn't collapse, be able to use it somewhat as a, as a shooting space. As a, a more immediate solution, have a storage container. So we have the setup to uh, at least store everything and all of our tools so we can have a secure location for everything and get it out of the way for whenever we can start actually building, which is just gonna depend on the weather. All of the miscellaneous stuff out of here, we got our tools in here, that's something we can secure and lock up and use through the winter. Try and keep the garage clear so it's ready to be rebuilt as soon as it's warm enough. So if we need to start doing some uh, restoration projects right now, of restoring some of the things that were lost in the fire, the very first thing is going to be my car. The damage isn't actually that bad, but it was enough to total it. Kind of sucks because it wasn't even in the garage. It was just close enough to get ignited. So my first goal is try and repair this. I don't have much automotive experience, so it'll be a fun challenge. See if I can get it running again. It does have an advantage that it is totaled. There's not really much of a resale value to it, so I can kind of do whatever I want with it. Could be some fun possibilities there. There's a whole bunch of other tools that were damaged or destroyed. So I'm gonna be doing kind of a short series of trying to restore them, kind of track how much it costs and how much labor it takes and see what situations where it actually makes sense to repair something that's broken and when it's just a lot better to buy something new. There's something always kind of satisfying of seeing some really rusted tool restored, kind of undo some of the damage that happened. With winter coming in, it is gonna probably put a hold on a lot of the rebuilding unless it's unusually warm, but it's looking to be probably pretty cold. So because funds are pretty limited, I think the best strategy right now is to kind of just make videos about the process so that the videos themselves are funding us and giving us a little bit more wiggle room with money to actually work on things. So as you can tell, we're starting to move on from this unfortunate setback, but it is taking some time. Things are still ongoing with insurance, and at this point, they're still not covering the actual structure. Also, unfortunately, facing some long tail effects from the fire that uh, hopefully can be resolved, but have the potential that I could lose my house. Hopefully that's not gonna be a problem. Nevertheless, I'm pretty excited for the new year, but with the incident of the fire and just the general state of the world, I'm kind of reconsidering how I've been doing some things. As much as I enjoy producing these videos and the rare opportunity to make a living off of a passion project, at this point, it's starting to have a pretty high unintended cost. So my plan now is to kind of tone things down a little bit and focus on just producing one large video a month inside the Reset series. Then beyond that, I also want to do update videos, keeping people informed on the progress with the workshop and everything else with that as we start to rebuild, as I start to salvage and recover some of the tools that were lost, as well as a variety of miscellaneous projects I want to explore on the side. It does have a little bit of a risk just because we're putting more of our eggs in fewer baskets. I'm asking everyone to participate in a survey to figure out what videos we're actually gonna do this year. I've put together a list of about three dozen video topics. I wanna to focus on the ones that excite people the most. And rather than just giving the topic, I've had rough thumbnails and titles mocked up for all of them. Look at this and kind of go into the mindset of your average YouTube viewer who's just scrolling through pages and pages of content. Click on the ones that catch your eye, the ones that draw you in, and stand out from the rest of the crowd because those should hopefully be the ones that perform the best. Then using the data from that, I can select some of the better ones we're gonna do this next year and then focus on really getting them right. Lastly, if you're local to the Minnesota and Twin Cities area, 
and are looking to earn a little bit of extra cash on the side, I'm looking for some extra help on a per project basis, pretty much any capacity. In the past, these videos end up being a huge amount of work. So moving forward, I'm hoping to try and get as much extra help as I can so we can do more projects and build bigger and greater things. If that's something that interests you in any capacity, whether you want to be on camera or not, or you just want to lend a hand, have a little survey, you can fill out and submit that and you can earn a little extra cash working on some fun projects. So until then, make sure to watch all of our videos as we rebuild and all of our new projects. As things with the building move forward, we'll see how the funding situation goes. Um, right now, I don't want to raise any more fund because we might have about enough to cover it. However, with building expenses going up, well, we might need some additional funds. Thanks again to everybody for your support and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon. We are largely a fan-funded channel and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.